as the team switch sides. It is 7-0 in favor of gold. We're gonna head over to the bench now. Did it hit your stick or something? Yeah. Huh? Did it hit you? What? I wasn't out on that. We're being joined right now by Molly, the captain of Gold Molly, in an incredible first period against this expansion team. Just the thing the defending champions need. Yes, exactly. Uh, what do you plan to do in the second period now? Do you have strategy to keep your lead? Um, we're going to hold on to it right now. We're going we're gonna to kind of see how things go and uh, we'll be back a little bit. All right, thank you very much. Uh -huh. That was the captain for, Mo for Gold Molly. It is 7-0 gold as we start the second period. Simon slowly bringing it up as I make my way back to center ice as well. It is Amy in the corner. Has it pulled away by Keith now in front. Goes through everybody. Um, Mara's going to get there first. He's uh, out looking for a teammate. Instead it is Angelo. Angelo with a back in the pass, but it goes as far as Keith. Simon is able to get the stick down. He'll take a shot. That's saved by Roger. I tried call it a save, but uh, now we're going to have a penalty on goal. Call is on Pat for stick slashing, and the first penalty, uh, the first power play for the Funkmaster Redux. Penalty at one minute into the game. I'm going to say there weren't any shots, even though Roger made a play because that one was way over. And this faceoff just rolls calmly towards Roger. He's going to freeze it, do some more killing. We have Keith and Eddie in taking the faceoff now. This one is won by Gold. Back to Angelo. Let's see what his strategy is. He's going to launch one, but only as far as Simon. Simon is able to keep it in. He's going to take a shot. That's a save. Now Keith to follow. He tries his shot. That one is tipped wide. Doesn't count. Off of Angelo. And we're going to be three on three. Or and we have a two-foot violation on gold. Rather than a double power play, we are going to have a penalty shot. It will be Keith for Funkmaster Redux taking it against Roger. The shot will count as a shot on goal. Here we go. Keith bringing the ball up. He's going to look. He's going to try and go around. It is saved. 2-0 in favor of the Funk in this period now, which uh, doesn't really help matters, I must say. No, you still have 45 seconds. Sorry about that. People were asking me if it was full strength yet. Uh, power play continues now for the Funk Masters. As he'll, Justin able to pull it off the bench. Nick with the block. Now Justin Nick fighting for it behind the net. Both trying to get there. Nick gets there first. Tries to bring it back out to Simon, but it's stolen by Tony and sent all the way down to the other end as we have about 20 seconds left in the penalty. Simon brings it around to Jason. Two shots thus far in this power play for Funk. Power play almost over. Justin able to keep it in. Goes for Tony. Oh, David nearly broke too soon. Now he's allowed back on. And back the other way. 0 for 1 on the power play. Two shots. And Justin gets it in the corner. Those are the only two shots of the, of the second period so far. Now Simon plays it behind his own net. Can he get it up? Finds Jason. Jason with a hard first touch, unable to control it. Looks to get around. Tony does so up to Nick to the center line. Nick, Simon, Mar all breaking at once. This shot's going to be saved by Roger. Uh, yeah, we'll call it a shot and a save. And we will have a face off. Now, it will be Neil and David taking the face off this one, one by Gold. Tony's going to bring it up. His attempt on goal is wide, doesn't count. Julie now trying to look for an opening. And this one gets tipped away. Jason racing the ball. He's going to take a shot. That's safe. Trickles and it is cleared off the line by Justin. Funkmaster doing much better in this period. Already four shots, and they had two in the entire first period. Now Tony with a shot. That's saved. Rebound attempt by David gets cut away by Lewis. It is Jason going up the other way. Neil appears to be miles offside. That shot will not count. Offside violation on the Funkmasters on Neil. We'll bring it back to the other zone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
it's pretty clear Gold just trying to run time down right now. Uh, make sure this game doesn't get out of hand. And a shot by Etienne for the goal. First shot, first goal of this period. Etienne gets it from Angelo on the faceoff. It is 8-0. <laughs> These are members of the Triple Deeks coming back to the league after a two-season absence. They will be in action next. Now Angelo looking. Etienne trying to get it to Angelo. That first shot is saved. Molly tries to keep it inbounds, does so. Just gets away from the entire Funkmaster defense. Now, Angelo stuck in the corner trying to get around Julie. Looks, there's Molly with a shot. That one is, is it in? No! Tipped in apparently by a high stick, so the goal is waved off. Uh, we'll have to see if there's a penalty. In there is a penalty included. I will have off the shoulder if you I didn't catch that, but uh, I'm sure we'll be examining that one in post. All right, second power play now for Funkmaster as uh, there's a few discussions going on. They are 0 for 1 so far. Shots remain 4-1 in this period. Amy tries to play it up, but no, it is Keith blocking it. Now it's coming around our way. Whoa. Uh, nearly ran over the press box on the way in. I apologize for that. Pat tries to keep it out. Uh, Simon is outside. That means that Lars has to come back. Makes his way back. Does so now they can reset. Long shot. That one tipped by Pat before it gets anywhere. Back the other way. Penalty expires at uh, Keith digs it. it out of the corner. We'll play a long high ball that avoids all the instructions. Lars now challenging Pat behind the net. He's able to get it, but Simon breaks it down. There's a shot, there's a save by Roger. In the corner. Lars stands back as Pat is able to clear. This one goes off the rafters. We will get it. A little confusion, trying for their best. It will be Keith and Angelo taking the face off now. Back to Amy. Amy plays it up and through everybody. Simon knocks it down before cut. No, can't keep it from crossing the line. So Simon slowly plays it up to Julie. Julie bringing it across. Shot there, five one. There's six one now. As they have definitely calmed down. Now. Angelo the other way, that shot is too high, but Paul will make a play on it. Plays it to Lars. Julie is offside, trying to bring it back. Funkmaster is forced to reset, do so. Penalty almost over. And Eddie is back out of the box. And immediately knocks it down. Only one shot on the power play. Funkmaster is now 0-2. Again plays it back to Amy. Amy looking for the long shot. This one's knocked down in the middle by uh, by Keith. He's going to take a shot. That one's a little high. At the controls. Gets it through everybody. Tony gets around Lars. Sticks are flying. Tony is going to pass it off. Can't do so. Simon. Back the other way comes Simon trying to get around Amy. Gold quick to reset as it goes to Keith. Keith's going to take a shot. This one's way over everybody's head. And it's Justin trying to clear it. Bounces off Julie. Second try. Gets it up to Etienne. Etienne now up to Tony. Tony. No. Keith with the control. Is it in? It is out. Everybody resets. And now Molly. Laying it up and clears it the length of the floor. Six minutes, 30 seconds left here in the second period. It is 8-0 now as Shannon gets to the ball. Being given free reign, passes it off to Keith, who looks for Nick. Oh, it's off Nick's foot. David looks like he tried to take a shot, couldn't do it. Tries again. This one is blocked again, and now Keith down the other way. Justin whips it around behind. This one to the middle. It is David now. Bringing it back to Etienne. His shot goes far. Now Justin behind. Played in front. Justin has no balls loose. Everybody fighting for it. Lewis now trying to get around Etienne. Nick gets it forward, but Molly keeps it in play for gold. Now both sides are in. Who's going to get the advantage in this situation? Nick controls around Lewis. He's looking for his man. Lewis making the run. Both teams are on side. No, Shannon plays it back. Gets played back to Shannon. Front masters reset. Now gold. 
Bringing it up the floor. Looking for their man, can't quite reach David. Now, quick shot up the side. Can't quite get there. Nick to try again. This one in the corner being cleared out. Lewis to take a shot. This one is tipped away. That is shot number seven in the period. Shots are 7-1 in this period. Uh, amazing goal, just really passing the ball around at this point. Dan's gonna take a shot, that one gets blocked. Gets some wacky spin on it, goes to Angelo. Goes off, brings it back. Now Angelo, second try. Finds that, and this one bounces off his hand. He controls it though. It's back to Angelo, can't find anyone. We're under five minutes left here in the second period. Angelo feeds it out of the corner. Looking into the middle, Etienne now. Pass forward, can't get it to anyone. Back into the corner and Angelo will pass it out. To the front, nothing there. Keith now has a chance. He's got a two on one if he can take it with Dan. No, can't control it. Gold is able to reset. He'll take the shot. That one goes wide. Dan has Molly behind him, but Dan is able to get there first without trouble. Molly allowing the two foot radius. Plays it up through everybody. Shannon can't control it either and it's forcing the Funk Masters back. In the corner now, Keith trying to bring it up. But Jason way offside here, so this shot wouldn't have counted anyway. Played back to Molly. Molly is looking for a teammate. As Angelo, they're not across the line yet. Tony able to time his run. Gets it across. Tony looking for Angelo in the middle. Can't get there, guarded by Neil. Neil is able to recover up the side, but only as far as Amy. Amy keeps it in bounds. This one gets through everybody. Paul forced to make a play on it. And Amy loses it out. Goal is gonna have to reset, they do so. Now Keith fishing it out of the back of the net, uh, back of the bench. Up to Pat, Pat to Angelo. Angelo with a shot, that's a goal! No saves yet in this period for uh, the for the goalie Paul. Unfortunately, shots are 7-2 in favor of Funkmaster, but it means nothing because the first two goals have gone in uh, off the first two shots. It is 9-0, and we still have three plus minutes to go. And it's only the second period. This just keeps getting worse. Now Tony back to Pat. Pat with a long shot. And that, oh, it tips in. Paul couldn't quite get his glove on it. Pat with the goal, it is 10-0. Now Jason and David will take the face off. This one bounces high in the air and is eventually controlled by Gold. Neil trying to get around Tony. Not sure which way to go. Plays it up the middle, can't quite get there. Trouble in the corner, this one is gonna get fished out. Neil has it, is Jason on side? Ref says yes. Amy keeps it in, Lars looking to keep it in as well. Scramble in the corner, Gold is able to get there first. Is it clear? It apparently is. Lars loses it to Tony in the corner. Tony trying to bring it, thinks about bringing it behind the net, trying to get around Lars. It will do so to Justin. Justin, slowly bringing the ball up. He's gonna find David in the middle. Oh, tipped away by Jason. Now Amy, long shot from Amy, doesn't go anywhere. This one lands on the back of the net. Covered by Justin to David, David to Amy. That one is, that's a save by Paul. First save of the period. That's are now 7-4 in favor of the Funk Masters in this period. But that standing makes it 24-9 in favor of goal overall. There's shot number eight of the period, 10 of the game. And it's a wheeler. I, I thought I saw, thought I saw the stick wheel around. Apparently not. Amy now plays it into the corner. Through Etienne's legs on the bench. One minute, 15 seconds left in the second period. Uh, is that gonna count as a shot? No, I don't think so. Still 8-4, uh, excuse me, in shots. We have a minute 10 to go, the score is 10-0. Frustration is forming on the bench. Now, Neil and David take the face off, one by Gold. Molly's gonna play it in the corner to Etienne. This is the last minute of play of the second period, which uh, has been much more even, but in terms of goals, has been dominated once again by Gold. Now Lewis trying to get around Pat, cannot do so on first try. Loses it back to Etienne, but Mara keeps it in. Pat passes it forward to Etienne. That ball is onside. Etienne with a shot, that goes wide. 45 seconds. Now Angelo looking, looking. 
plays in the front, save. No, not a save, but whatever. Back to Roger. Tipped up. Plays it long to Molly. Molly wraps it around. Angelo. Back around the other way. He's going to hold it behind the net. Now play it forward. Shots were 8-4 in this period, barring a last-second shot like this one. No, that's why it doesn't count. Shot so far, 24-10 gold, but the goals are a different story.